Hello student, welcome back to the lecture series of Digital Electronics. In the previous video, we had discussed one of the most important binary code and that is a grey code. In this video, we are going to discuss how to convert a binary number binary number to grey code. Okay. In this video, we will discuss how to convert a binary number to a grey code. Okay. So, before we start, the process of conversion from binary to grey code, let us discuss one logic gate which is used to use in the conversion process of binary to grey code. So, as we discussed earlier, the XOR gate is used to compare two different inputs. Okay. For example, this one is a one x or get okay and inputs to the x or get are a and b and the output of this x or get for example is y and the output is given as a b bar plus a bar b okay this one is a x or get x or get and if we discuss the truth table for x or get then it is given as two inputs a and b and number of possible inputs are and number of possible combinations for the inputs are given as 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 and 1, 1. Uh, now, as we discussed earlier, in X or get, X or get used to compare both the inputs. If both the inputs are same, then it will generate output 0. And if both the inputs are different, then it will generate output 1. So, in the third case, output but both the inputs are same then it will generate output 0 this way x or get is used to compare two inputs okay so in this conversion process from binary to x gray code we will use this x or get okay to convert the binary number into a gray code so let's discuss how to convert binary number Gray code. So let us discuss the conversion method with the help of one example. For example, we have one 4 bit binary number, first one, and the number is 0, 1, 1, 0. Okay. So in this 4 bit binary number, the last one bit is known as LSB or least significant bit, and the first one bit is known as most significant bit MSB. So process starts from least significant most significant bit to last significant bit okay so write down the given number as it is okay this one is the given binary number 4 bit binary number so process starts from most significant bit okay first step write most significant bit as it is right most significant bit as it is this one is a most significant bit okay so write most significant bit as it is then use x or get between most significant bit and next one bit. Okay. For example, if I give the bit number and bit 0, bit 1, bit 2 and bit 3. Okay. So use x or get between bit 2 and bit 3. Okay. If you use bit x or get between bit 2 and bit 3, then you get both the inputs are different then we get output 1 okay for next one bit use x or get between bit 1 and bit 2 both the inputs are same both the inputs are same then we get output 0 okay for the last one pair use x or get between bit 0 and bit 1 then you get both the inputs are different then we get output 1 so this one is a gray code for the given binary number okay this way we can convert any binary number into gray code let's take one more example for example we have one number one zero one zero one one zero zero okay this one is a binary number and we want to convert this number into gray code so process starts from msb to 
LSP. First, write MSP bit as it is. First, write MSP bit as it is. Then use X or get between bit number between first bit and next one bit. If you use X or get get between one and zero, then both the inputs are different. If both the inputs are different, then the output signal are one. Okay. In the if both the inputs are same, then we get output as one. Okay. So write one over here. If we use X or get between zero and one, next one bit. Okay. Then both the inputs are different, so we get one. Next one. In the next one bit pair, pair of bit. 1 and 0. Both the inputs are different. So we get answer 1. In the next one pair of bit, bits, the both the inputs are different. So we get output 1. In the next pair of bits, both the inputs are same. So we get answer 0. In the next pair of bit, both the inputs are different. So we get 1. In the next pair, both the inputs are same. So we get answer 0. So this one is the gray code. Gray code. Okay. And this one is the binary number. So this process is very easy. And if we if we represent this gray code with bits G0, G1, G2, G3, then the generalized equation for G1, G2, G3 can be given as G3 is equal to most significant bit because we write most significant bit as it is as G3. So G3 is equal to B3. Next one that is G2. We get this G2 bit by using X or get between bit 2 and bit 3. So use X or get between bit 2 and bit 3. Okay. Next one that is G1. Okay. So if we want to find G1, then we use X or get between bit number 1 and bit number 2. So bit 1, X or bit 2. And to get bit G0, we use X or get between bit 0 and bit 1. Bit 0 and bit this way, we can convert any gray binary number to gray code with the help of, help of this generalized equation. So, remember the method to convert the binary number to gray code. Okay, write MSP bit as it is, then use gray code between bit 3 and bit 2 to get G2. Use X or get between B2 and B1 to get G1. Use X or get between B1 and B0 to get G0. Okay. So this is a very easy method to convert any binary number into gray code. Now let us discuss how to convert a gray code into a binary number. So the next one process that is conversion of gray code to binary number. Binary number. Okay. So, conversion process is very similar to the binary to gray code process. Okay. For example, we have one gray code. For example, we have one gray code. This is 101101. Okay. This one is a one gray code. Okay. And this bit is known as least significant bit. And this bit is known as most significant bit. Okay. So, we will start again with most significant bit. Okay. So write the given gray code as it is like this. Okay. Write this most significant bit as it is. This one is a most significant bit and this one is a least significant bit. So use this most significant bit as it is. Now in the conversion process of binary to gray code, we use X or get between first bit and the next bit. But in the conversion process of gray to binary, we use this X or get between the bit number, the first one binary bit and the next one gray code bit. Okay. 
we use x or get between first one or most significant bit of binary number and next one gray code bit okay so if we use x or get between these two bits then we get the next one bit okay the next one bit is so both the inputs are different in x or get so we get one at the output of gray code at the the output of x or get now use x or get between these two bits okay so both the inputs are same so we get c <coughs> now use again x or get between these two bits okay use x or get between these two bits both the inputs are different so we get output one use x or get between these two bits so we get both the inputs are different so we get one use again both these bits are same then we get answer zero so this one is the most significant bit in binary number and this one is the least significant bit in binary number so final answer in the binary number is given as 100110 then again 110110 this one is a binary number and we had convert a given x uh, gray code into binary number clear so let us con you check one more example the given gray code is 110110 this one for example this one is number is a binary number but this one is a gray code for example the given number is a gray code and we want to convert this gray code into binary number okay so let us write all these bits separately okay this one is a most significant bit in gray code and this one is a least significant bit in gray code so write most significant bit as it is so most significant bit is one then use gray code between these two bits okay now use x or get between these two bits so both the inputs are same so we get answer zero now use x or get between these two bits okay so both the inputs are same in the x or get so we get answer zero now use x or get between these two bits both the inputs are different in x or get so we get answer one use x or get between these two bits both the inputs are same in x or get so in output is zero x or get between these two bits both the inputs are same so we get answer zero so this one is a x binary number for the given equation this one is a binary number for the given equation now if you represent all these gray bits gray code in the bit form then this one is g1 this one is a g0 this one is a g1 g2 g3 g4 g5 okay and for example this one is a b0 b1 b2 b3 b4 and b5 okay and we want to check we want to find the generalized form for the given number okay so bit 5 bit 5 is as given in the gray code is a most significant bit of gray code so it is g5 if we want to find b4 then b4 can be find with the help of b5 and g4 gray code between exclusive or get exclusive or operation between b5 and g4 so b5 x or g4 if you want to find b3 then we can uh, find the b3 bit with the help of b4 and g3 so b4 x or g3 similarly you can find b0 bit with the help of b1 and g0 so 
if you use B1, X or operation between B0, B1 and G0, then you get the final bit that is B0. Okay. So this is a very simple conversion method from binary to gray or gray to binary.